Hello, gentlemen and lady, and welcome to tutorial 1.1 of Guild Wars 2. My name is Sif. I will be teaching all of you how to play this game, how to navigate this game, because it's really complicated, and there's not a lot of hand-holding in this game. So if you guys need more help, I recommend you watch this. If you guys need to learn how to play this game in general, watch this. If you guys just want to watch this and learn some maybe cool new things that you didn't know about, because it's a complicated game. There's a lot of little hidden features. So the first thing we'll, you'll get in when you first log in is the world select. Now it's very, 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 very important that you choose the right server if you want to play with your friends because in order to transfer servers you have to pay a small fee. The only thing that you get locked out if you guest on other people's servers is the world PvP. Now if you want to play that with your friends I recommend you do you roll on the same server with them. So I already have my server, it's Blaze Ridge Mountains, and we are gonna make our first character ever. So an empty character slot. Loading screen loads up. So the five races that you have to choose from, races really don't change your gameplay a lot. What they do is give you a, a little bit of uh, customization in terms of racials, and they do have some separate armor but there's not an advantage of choosing one race over the other. So the first race that we have are the Asura, which are tiny midgets that like to tinker with magic and golems, golem magic. And then we have the Silvari over here on the right. They are a new race. They've only been around for about 25 years, and everything that they learn when they're born, they learn from a dream. So... Inception, the class, or I mean the race. And then we have the Norn, which are your Viking warriors of death, doom, and glory. They're big, they're strong, they're tough, they're pretty cool. They live in snowy m mountains, they worship animal spirits. Then you have the humans, which believe in gods, and they. Yeah, they're kind of. On their, down on their luck. They're getting screwed over by Char and Centaur and all manners of crappy things. And then you have the Char, which are the Spartan, feline, steampunk engineers of the world. And they're fucking awesome. And that's exactly what the race we're going to play, because as you can see from the character select screen, I love that. So I'm going to play a male Char this time. And you go into your class select screen. So uh, if you cycle through these, you'll get different uh, examples of what higher level armor is going to look like. The eight races, or eight races, eight classes that you get to choose are Elementalist, which is like a conjurer of mastery. God, they're just fucking own. They're good. They're awesome. That's <laughs> the best way of explaining it. They're just, they're just. They use the elements to blow shit up. And then you have the warrior, which is the master of arms, and the char like having spikes in their armor, so spikes. And then you have the guardian, which is like your spellcaster, heavy armor wearer, very good at support. And you have the engineer, who's like Batman, has a tool belt and a utility kit and turrets and shit. And then you have the ranger, which is not your Legolas class. It's not your fucking Legolas class, it's the Aragorn class. That's right. Not only does Aragorn use bows and arrows, but he also uses swords, and he raves face with both of them. It has, this is the pet class. You have the Necromancer, who's, yeah, the mighty wizard, or the mighty conjurer of death and destruction, and god, that armor looks sexy. And then you have the Thief, which is your sneaky mobile class, and you have the Mesmer, which is your fabulous clone making class. That's right, you're, you're a master of trickery. Being a total douche in the battlefield. It's, it's the douche class. That's the mesmer. I will actually be rolling a guardian. Now, all of these professions can do damage. All of these professions can support, and all of these professions can control. Now, you may be saying, but see if but see if that's impossible. You can't have all three, all the, 
all the professions do everything, none of them are unique. Trust me. Every single one of these professions, I want to play all of them. They're they're interesting in their own unique way. I've played the warrior, had a ton of fun with it. I've played the thief, had a ton of fun with it. Now I want to try out the guardian, and I still want to try out the engineer, because all of them interest me. So, next, and now we go into character customization.